Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another beer from uh, Franconia and this is from Brauhaus Budenschuster. Of course, this is a brew that has not been on the channel before. It's one of the very, very few remaining brews from Franconia that hasn't been on the channel before. And uh, of course, those last ones is very, very hard to find. This is one of those that is very hard to find. One of the brews that I'm looking forward to most and the reason for that is several reasons. For example, it comes in, the, in this one liter bottle, which really shows that it's filled by hand and all the served in tap from, uh, from the home brewery, from the Gasthof and uh, by the brewmaster and it fills up some bottles. Sometimes this is one of those times that is filling up some one liter bottles by hand and is selling them for about 10 euro each and that's what uh, was what I bought it for from Landbier Paradise webshop. Landbier Paradise 2040E, real nice webshop that is supporting this very very small brewery in Franconia. I've been buying much from them. And uh, as you can see, one liter bottle, really really nice. It's I think the only beer that this one member is having. Uh, quite new brewery, has been existing only a few years if I'm not wrong. Alcocon 5.2 and this very nice beer and also the short lifetime of this is something that I want to mention about. Three weeks only is the lifetime of this beer from its until it's finished brewed and until it uh, doesn't taste as it, as it should be anymore. So uh, the last day is tomorrow, that's why I'm having it today because it expires tomorrow. It was upgefilled in 26 uh, July 2023 and the last day that's possible to drink is 16 of August. As you can see, uh, label and here is the logo of this brew, really really nice. So let's open it up with this Bügel for Schloss. Love it of course, showing that it's, that it's real fresh and Remove that label as well, and now pour it up, of course. Big moment. Now we pour it up into the uh, where the bears are well fitting glass. All this important to use the right type of glass, of course. I'm in this case using my one liter glass, which is fitting nice for all those one liter bottles. Um, in my opinion, every person should have the one liter glass, which is really the um, normal size in Germany. Uh, 0.5 liter is called halbe in Germany, and one liter is the, the normal size, which might be considered quite, quite big in many countries. But of course, first impression, as you can see, big foam head, which is a quality sign, and it's also import, uh, important to build up during the pouring process because it unleashes right aromas from the ingredients. Uh, as I was mentioned, and in this case a real thick white foam crown, I think this is something like a kettle beer, probably. And uh, also very thick white foam crown, a nice color with this Bernstein Falbiness uh, unfiltered lager. And what more to say, the foam is of course important to uh, maintain all the way through while you drink because it, uh, it locks the right taste in the glass. That's why Germans often is keeping this beer decal above the glass while I sit in the Biergarten for example for a very long time. It locks the right taste in the glass. Meanwhile, while we wait for the foam head to sink down, I can give you some information from the from a label. It says Lorenz Dickmann Friedrich Straße 2 Bad Steben Brauers Bruder Schuster or Tutaten Wasser Gassenhals Hopfen Hefe. So, Saida Alcocont 5.2. And I can also give you some information from my book about Franconian breweries, which is looking like this. Nice book by Markus Raupasch. And here you can see. Now it looks like 
and some information that is uh, from the 2016 by Lawrence Dickman, who is the brewmaster Prowess Wooden Shoe Store DE. The only beer is Prowess Wooden Shoe Store Lager, uh, which also is the classic gold beer from this brewery, of course. Anschrift Friedrichstraße 4. 95138 Badge 7. Telefon Nummer 01776 249 10491. Ich um, kann auch noch einige Informationen machen, während wir warten. Natürlich in Deutschland. Lawrence Dickmann und Dagobert Zahn sind beide Braumeister aus Leidenschaft. Sie lernten sich auf der Berufsschule in Ulm kennen und sind seitdem und sehr äh, rentlich nach einiger Zeit in der Boden Bundeshauptstadt, wo sie sich äh, zum Diplom Raumeister fortbildeten, trennten sich kurz die Wege, bevor sie sich in Badstäben wieder vereintet, um aus Dickmanns Elternhaus eine Brauerei zu machen. Seit 2014 wäre Kelten sie im Schweiz ihrer Angesichter und kommen im April 2016 das Brauhaus eröffnen. Standesgemäß entstand der erste Sud am 23. 4. 2016 zum 500-jährigen Jubiläum des Reines Gebotes. Neben dem immer verfügbaren Lager brauen die beiden auch wechselnde Sommersude und füllen ihr Bier in 2 Liter Flaschen, 5 Liter Dosen und große Anstichtfässer ab. Sounds very nice, of course. Really, really small. Really, of course, that's what I like really much. Let's see if we can fill up some more into the bottle. It might be possible to fill at least some of it into the bottle, even though the foam is very, very big and also It's growing bigger all the time, very hard to fill the, the one liter glass this much because the foam is being growing so much all the time. That is, you can say what you want about it, but in my opinion, it's a real quality sign with the big foam, of course. It is something that I, that I like really much. There we have it all, into the glass. Now let's get the aroma, which is fantastic, really, really nice. So, finally, let's get to try Raus Gud und Schuster. Prost! Yeah, real nice lager. One of the best ones I, I've had. Um, reminds me a little bit of um, Zum Golden Adler in Höfen, which is a small brewery in Franconia that is also having only one beer, uh, which I've been uh, trying on my channel. It was a one liter bottle that is filled by hand. I got it from a friend, Andreas uh, Jäger, I think uh, it's called. Reminds me also a little bit of. Um, Brauerei um, Metzgerei Reichert and uh, that is a really, really well tasting one. Great beer and a big recommendation, of course, this unfiltered, unpasteurized lager with a real nice Bernstein Farbenes taste of it. Its appearance is very, very Freconia in my opinion. So, a big recommendation of this one. Hope you're gonna do some research about the brewery. I'll try to link to the, to the website if I find it in the description box below, but it's, it's really nice for Yeah, it's so easy to drink. Very smooth. Um, all in all, very well tasting and it's actually really, really nice. So. Big shout out to this fantastic brewery for their great 
lager. It tastes amazing in my opinion. Yeah. I think that's it for now regarding this review. Hope you like my reviews. See you guys in the next German video.